Welcome back to Monday Mayhem with Mandy. I'm your host Mandy and this is the Arts Gives Beat channel. Chances are, if you stumbled upon this video, you're interested in learning more about Massachusetts College of Art and Design, otherwise known as Massa, a school that I currently attend. I am in my third year as an illustration major at MassArt and I love it. If you want some general advice about whether or not you should even go to art school in the first place, then you should check out my previous video, Should I Go to Art School? This video is really going to be getting down into the nitty gritty about specifically mass art. Just a quick disclaimer before I start this video, this is my experience going to mass art and only my experience. I'm not speaking for anybody else. You may go to mass art and have a completely different experience. I can only speak for my experiences and my major and the things that I decided to do while going to mass art. That being said, I wanted to make an effort for this video to not be so one-sided, so I will also be including comments from my fellow students at MassArt, some of my friends who I know who I asked about their experience going to the school as well. So hopefully this will be a very well-rounded video and you'll get a bit of an idea of what it's like to go to the school from different perspectives. I'm making this video because MassArt was my dream school when I applied there, and even I had some uncertainty about going to art school in the first place. What would it be like, or is this the right decision, and I'm just trying to give some people some clarity as to it's all gonna be okay, and art school is not as scary as people make it out to be. First touching on the campus resources. One of the amazing resources on campus is the lab. They have beautiful Mac computers, they have huge 24 inch Canon printers and your regular standard inkjet printers that you can just print tabloid and printer paper on. They also have Rizzo printers there and they have a whole printmaking studio. There's a lot of resources for printing at that school. And you may not realize it before you get to college or before you get to art school, but printing is almost everything. I mean, you will have to print till the day you die when you're an artist. So learning how to do it in a way that is professional looking and with professional equipment is really, really beneficial for you after college. They also have lab assistants that are students on campus who work there, who are constantly helping people. They're super, super sweet. And if you ask them any questions, they'd be more than willing to teach you how to use the technology in the lab. The next amazing resource on campus is the library. I know it sounds like kind of stupid, but the library is literally the most beautiful place on campus. It has the most amazing view of Boston. It's like a 360 <laughs> like high rise view of the city, but they also have amazing, amazing art books there. Almost every single resource you could possibly think of when it comes to art and design is in that library. And the librarians are also super, super helpful. Another thing is accessible studio space. MassArt does a pretty good job at making sure students have a place to work on campus. Every major has a studio of their own and every student has a studio space by their junior year. You probably won't even realize it until you get into art school, but it's really important to have a space like outside of your own bedroom where you're working. I know a lot of people like, like to work in their bed or like to work at their desk, like me. I love working at my bedroom desk but it's really important to separate like workspace and rest space. <laughs> MassArt, at least my major, emphasizes how important it is to keep a healthy studio habit. Next one talking about pros of MassArt is the student life. Student life at MassArt is kisses. Love it, amazing, good, good stuff all around, I feel. This may be just my opinion, but if you're the type of person who like likes to go to school events, um, MassArt has some pretty cool stuff going on like all year round. There's almost something every weekend that they're either suggesting you go to like off of campus or there's an event for you to go to on campus. The good thing about going to art school is people are constantly working to like make something for an event and that means that there's always events to go to. And the by far most amazing events are the Studio for Interrelated Media or Sim events. They do some crazy like immersive performances and it's just amazing all around. The last Sim performance that I went to was like supposed to be a 1920s speakeasy. So they put all of our phones in like paper bags and there were like these, <laughs> these 
bouncers at the door with like black suits and like sunglasses and everybody was dressed like you know like flapper vibes um and the there they made like these chandeliers out of like plastic water bottles um and they had like little hors d'oeuvres and like mocktails that they were handing around to people it was just adorable and the music was amazing of course the next thing is school programs the range of undergrad majors is absolutely huge let me just read them for you we have animation architecture art education ceramics communication design fashion fibers film glass history of art illustration industrial design jewelry and metal smithing painting photo printmaking sculpture and sim or studio for interrelated media that's 18 majors that's a lot of majors. And the size, of course, like varies across all of those majors. Another great thing about Mass Art is it's really small, which may not be a pro for some people, but is definitely a pro for me. You have smaller classes, you have more time with the professor. It just makes it more of a personalized experience and it's just not something that like a huge school can give you. Other programs at Mass Art include clubs or extracurricular activities, which in terms of like the quantity of those things is pretty low like mass art doesn't have a lot of really known clubs but the things that they do have are really great one really cool thing that you can participate in that i've been a part of since freshman year is the cof performance art programs where all the colleges in the area come together and perform so i've been in the theater program where we put on a play in the fall and a musical in the spring since freshman year they also have chorus and dance, and I believe there's a new acapella club as well. Mass Art also has sports. I know that that is shocking. Um, we do have intramural sports. So some seasons it's soccer, some seasons it's basketball. I think it honestly just depends. We also have a rock climbing club, and that's all the sports that we have. Another one of the programs at the school that I want to point out is the career program. I feel like something that people often worry about in art school is whether or not they'll leave with a job. And I also think that sometimes students at Mass Art don't entirely know the amount of career programs that they do have, the amount of career opportunities that the school gives you. So just know that going into it, it's not going to be shoved into your face. You really have to dig for it. The first thing, it's the Center for Art and Community Partnerships, otherwise known as CACP, which covers three different programs. The first program in CACP is Partnership Works, and this is where students from the school are employed by MassArt to work in places off campus. So they have teaching jobs, they have graphic design jobs, they have illustration jobs. They honestly have a ton of different partnerships across the city, and I worked with them for years, and they are some of the sweetest people that I've ever met in my life, let alone at MassArt. CACP also offers jobs on campus in their offices, which is really nice. If you live on campus and you don't exactly want to go commuting to a job off of campus, then you can work with them in their offices. The third program that they offer is Spark the Armobile, which is a completely mobile art studio that they bring to community spaces across Boston. Working with CACP over the past few years has been one of the most fulfilling things I've ever done in my life. Um, just getting to know the community and what they want and what they deserve as far as, you know, art and education, um, it's really beautiful to work with them. Mass Art also has a career center where you can go and ask for help with jobs. You can set up an appointment with the head of the career center, no problem. They also run Handshake, which is the job app that Mass Art uses um, for most of their students jobs. They regularly host seminars on Zoom helping alum and students at MassArt um, get a job or become entrepreneurs if they would like to, <laughs> like myself. Our next category is the student body. In any college you go to, there will be people that you like, that you don't like, that you get along with, that you don't get along with, and that is perfectly fine, but there's something about a community of artists that is so accepting and loving and dedicated to their craft. Everybody's there for relatively the same reason and it's really nice to have a group of people that you feel like you're going into the art world with 
rather than just being thrown out there by yourself with no other artists and there's a bit of comfort like having knowledge of the artist community if you end up staying in the city. The next category and some would say the most important is the academics at the school. As far as the professors at MassArt, none of them are full-time teachers. Almost every single professor there also works as an artist, which is amazing. It is so great to have the knowledge, the advice that a mentor, a professor, a teacher could give you. You can't you you can't underestimate the power of of that. It, it's amazing. If you reach out to a professor for help in terms of anything, for your career, for something in class, if you need help with any artistic endeavor at all, usually they're at your beck and call. As far as academic opportunities, there are many different things that this school gives you later on in your schooling there. Most of these opportunities come around your junior year. For example, MassArt provides a partnership with Handel and Haydn. This is a partnership that they have been cultivating for many years and has been nothing but beneficial to MassArt students. Also, I don't know that they're still going to be doing this when, whenever anybody goes to the school, whenever you're watching this video, so... Um, I'm sorry if they're not, but anyways. So this is my art piece for the H&H &H project and only a certain amount of them get chosen and mine didn't, but it was still a super valuable experience. There's also a class in my department specifically called Professional Illustration and it's led by Professor Irina Roman. She's an amazing watercolor artist. Um, I'll put some of her work here. She does this class called Professional Illustration where students um, work with people in the community and make illustrations for them um, and it's kind of like they all compete to um, get an illustration out to this community program. I think that's really cool. Um, I know other schools have stuff like that but MassArt does too. Another pro of going to MassArt is the location. I mean, you are in the heart of the frickin' city. You are a block away from most of the museums that you get to go to for free, the MFA and the Isabella Stewart Gardner. I mean, you can see them from your window if you live in one of the dorms. If you live on campus, public transportation is super close. The Green Line is right outside of MassArt. Um, so even if you're commuting, um, it makes it super easy to just go from one place to another. When it comes to cost, MassArt is significantly cheaper than other major art schools in major cities across the country. MassArt's in-state tuition is 14,570, and its out-of-state tuition as of right now is 40,960. When it comes to a school like RISD, their tuition is 57,000, SBA is 46,800, School of Art Institute of Chicago is 54,530. CalArts is 55,000. Ringling is 52,000. The only two that I could find that are cheaper than the out-of-state tuition for MassArt is the Maine College of Art tuition is 39,830. And the SMFA, or the School Museum of Fine Arts tuition is 33,166. Well, with all that being said, I hope that this video helped you. I hope that you have a bit more of an idea as to what type of education you would be getting from MassArt. If you have any more questions about the school, um, if you want me to make a follow-up video um, with your questions, then please um, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Turn on post notifications so you get a notification every Monday when I post. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye!